Hey everybody, Sean here, Boosted Miata. Guess what? More oil leaks. Let's check it out, come on. Well, I've got more oil problems with the Miata, but this time it's not so bad. It's being caused by my turbo, actually. It's being caused because the turbo is creating so much pressure in the engine, it's blowing oil out where normally just vapors from the motor come out actually right from the valve cover so we have a fix for that and it's called the catch can and this is it here this is a cheap old catch can i bought off of amazon and we're going to install it on the miata so let's do this this is the catch can it's a pretty cheap version of a catch can it's uh, off of amazon it costs 30 bucks it's got a uh, pretty simple design essentially you connect one hose here and you connect uh, a breather uh, a breather filter or maybe another hose here depending on how you want to set it up I'm gonna put like a little filter on here it fills with oil and you've got this little this little line here to indicate how much oil is in there and then you got like a little drain plug here on the bottom to drain it when it fills so I guess I'm gonna install this thing it's kind of ugly um, it's kind of heavy actually. I think it's made of aluminum, but it feels kind of heavy and it's really ugly. And I really don't like this at all. I feel like this in the engine bay after a while because of the heat that's generated in the engine bay, I think this is gonna yellow and then eventually crack and possibly leak. But I'll deal with that at some other point. I just need to get something in the engine bay to capture all that oil that's just getting sprayed everywhere. But this is it. It comes with this really ugly hose that I'm not going to use. Uh, it comes with a bracket. It comes with some crappy uh, clamps, uh, which I may or may not use, and some washers. And a couple screws. So let's go ahead and install this pile of poo-poo. All right, let me show you what's going on down here in the engine bay. Under a normally aspirated motor, this hose would normally go back into your intake system somewhere. But the problem is with a turbo motor, it produces so much pressure that not only does vapor come out of here, you also get oil. And in my case, you get a lot of oil. So if you look down here, see all that oil? See how wet it is? All that oil is coming out of the valve cover through this little... Uh, filter that I had put on here um, it's just drenched now I'm gonna have to clean that with brake cleaner but all that oil is being blown through this and leaking down here and just causing a big mess so what I'll do is I'll put uh, I'll use this hose here and this will run to the catch can which I'll install somewhere over here I guess and then uh, this filter here will then get connected to the other uh, the other side of the catch can. You'll see. What I think I'm going to do is I found this. Uh, I don't know what this came from. I think this is a bracket from a television mount. Anyway, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to mount it. You see there how it lines up nicely there. And then I'll bend it down here, so it'll basically be an L shape. Okay, so imagine this being an L shape. And then I can mount it, I think I'm gonna mount it here or here. I haven't decided, either here or here. And yeah, and then I'll just, that way I'll have the space I need to allow for this drain plug at the bottom that's the problem here this is a horrible design um, either that or I would just plug that but I can't find a, a plug and I don't feel like cutting this and making a plug and getting too crazy so I think I'm gonna use this so the next thing to do is just to bend this in the vise alright so I marked it with a couple of marks it should line up nicely So I just bend it right there now let's see what happens. So let's go over to the vise real quick. So like that. 
I think that's what I want to do. Alright, let's give it a whirl. Wow. <laughs> okay. Bent. Looks kind of lame because the paint chipped right off, but see how this works out. So this will go like that. <laughs> and I, I screwed up. I bent it too far down. Well, you know what the good thing is? I have two of these. Let's try again. Done. Here, okay, so first thing I wanna do is pull this off. And put a copper washer on there. So it don't leak. See? the screws are long enough though oh, we'll find out yeah I think they're gonna be too short crap we need to find longer screws all right I think I figured this out um, I'm gonna not use those screw holes there instead I think I'm gonna use some hose clamps some good quality hose clamps and I, what I'll do is I think I will just hose clamp it to this bracket I built right here. That way I can angle it the way I want and I'm not stuck using those holes there. And I think that should clear the hood um, from the look of it. I think it should clear the hood even if I, but I may have to run two hoses off of there and run the filter down somewhere else kind of out of the way but I think that's what I'm gonna do I think <clears throat> Well, there it is. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of how it looks. It looks very ricer. I'd like something to look a little more like that catch can there. That's the one for uh, that goes between the intake and the valve cover. And that's a Moroso um, brand. And it's really elegant, really nice, really clean. This one's ugly as hell. And I kind of knew that when I bought it, I knew it was just not perfect. And it's a difficult situation where it's located. Maybe that's the best I can do, I don't know. But I don't like how it's kind of bent and looks kind of funky. But it'll work for now. I don't have a lot of money to throw into this build. So I just kind of got to work with what I have. And it's okay. So that's it, that's gonna do it for now. Thanks a lot guys for watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you like it, why don't you give it a like and give me a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And leave me some comments or questions down below. I love getting uh, questions from y'all. It's been great. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.